Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem 7 playthrough. Last time, we created Lindus' Legion, and wow, what a mighty Legion we have. But we're going to see how that Legion continues on as we move through more of Lin's story. And we're going to start with Chapter 4. Let's get going. After defeating the bandits, Lin continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at a ruined fortress. The Ganolian bandits are in a rage after their brethren fell to Lin's swords. They race in pursuit of the companions. Their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. Chapter 4 In Occupation's Shadow Ah, this should suffice. Tonight's bed. This mildewy old fortress? Is this the best we can do? Come, Will, surely you jest. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. And there are rather a lot of us. This will be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyway? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. As long as I'm at Lynn's side, I'll be fine. And for your protection, your men-at-arms, Sane, will be right here by your sides, ladies. Sane, both you and I are to remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Ah, alas. Your pardon, my lady. Who's there? I... Forgive my intrusion. My name's Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. Ah, ow! Are you alright? Hmm? Your leg! It's fine, don't worry. It's from a childhood sickness. I can't travel far on it, but it doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing here all by yourself? I'm looking for my husband. I heard he was in this area. He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. He left the village and hasn't returned. He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. It's a poor likeness at best, but his name is Dorcas. Do you know of him? I'm sorry, I don't believe I've seen or heard of him. I see. If you do meet him, please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. I will tell him, I promise. Here they are. We finally tracked down the band that defeated Migel. So they decided to hole up in this ruined fortress. Perfect. We'll wait till it gets dark and then... You're an idiot. There are only a few of them and some of our women. If we attack them at night, it'd be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the women by mistake. I will not be so wasteful. You're right, Karjiga. What the hell is the name Karch- uh, whatever. You're so smart. We'll avenge Migel and get some pretty souvenirs to boot. Who knows, maybe I'll be a leader after all. Ha 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 ha. Let's go. Spread out and en encircle the place, you rogues. Let's finish this before it gets too dark to see. Hey, you! Your name's Dorcas, right? You haven't done much since you joined us. If those weapons of yours aren't just for show, today's the day to let us see what you can do. I want you to attack the back entrance to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. I want you to capture her. Do that and I'll increase the share of the take. If you want gold, you'll get the job done. A bunch of women, huh? It would break Natalie's sweet heart to see me sink so low. Lady Lindus, outside the fortress, bandits. What did you say? Persistent bunch, aren't they? What do you think? Shall we go out and face them? No, Natalie cannot move well, and that would put her in danger. 
Let him come to us. We'll fight here within these walls. Slim, take over. The command is yours. All we have to do is hold out until they tire and leave. Oh. Rest easy, Natalie. No one will harm you. Listen, everyone. Fight with caution. Slim, this fortress has two entrances. I'll take the eastern door. Wait! Slim, that man over there. Doesn't he resemble the picture of Natalie's husband? Oh, wow. I wonder if we're supposed to do something there. Okay. Whatever. We'll, we'll get to that bridge when we come to it. Uh, so here we have a protect chapter where basically we have to make it through seven, at least in this map, seven allied turns and enemy turns. Once we do that, uh, the map will be over and we can move on to the next one. Now, I actually kind of like these because you could do the easy thing and just kind of stay put and then just like farm kills off of the characters. Or you can do what I like to do and try to maximize your experience as best as you can. Try to cover the map as quickly as possible, make sure you get all the other kills possible, stuff of that nature. It's, it's really fun to try to do this chapter optimally. And that's what I'm going to be essentially trying to do, I guess. Uh, so yeah, um, this chapter will kind of start primarily as a defense chapter. Down here we have a lot of uh, brigands that we have to get through. Uh, we also have an entrance over here. Uh, we also have a, a wall over here that uh, they're going to try to break down and get through. Um, one of my favorite strats to use in this map is actually by use of Will here. Uh, Will can actually be very, very helpful in uh, kind of trying to destroy all of these units uh, before they try to break in. And even if he can't, uh, by the point it gets to that, uh, or by the time it gets to that point, your other units will be essentially done with their own duties. So, I'm going to start by basically, let me see how far you can go. So you can go all the way up here. I'm going to see if I can maybe, just to play it safe, I'll try to see if I can lure the archer to attack Will right here. As far as the rest of my units, obviously Kent and Sane are going to be taking the middle here. Do they have... Vulneraries. Sane does not have a vulnerary yet. Which does kind of worry me. But I can make this work, I think. Just have to uh, think of this very creatively. So I'll move Lynn right here. She has plenty of vulneraries with her. So I'm going to use Florina. Trade a vulnerary to her. Move back. And then I'll have Sane take a Vulnerary from Farina, and then Sane will have one. And he already has the sword equipped, so that's good. Um, I could either put Kent and Sane right here to kind of like thin out the numbers, or if, I feel, if I'm feeling risky, I could put them here and have them get attacked from all fronts. I'm not going to try to do that, though, because, again, that can be very, very risky, and I don't want to get uh, overwhelmed. So I guess we'll just put them right here. I'll put them both right here, and we'll just kind of work our way inward. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So yeah, Dorcas missed Lynn. That's good. We're going to be talking to him next turn. And here's where we're going to have our biggest congestion. Now, I want to make sure we don't take too much damage here, but there might be uh, some times where we can't really control that. I do wish Kent and Sane had a little more speed so they could actually double some of these guys, but uh, unfortunately that is just not a luxury I have in this playthrough right now. Yeah, not even Sane can double, so unfortunately we're going to have to two round most of these guys, but that's just the way it is. And thankfully, the archer is going to go for Will, and Will doubling would also be really nice because we could assure that we could finish off these guys a lot quicker. But again, I'm not going to stress it too much. So let's go ahead, first of all, finish off this archer with Will. If he would have missed, I would have been very, very disappointed. Let's see how his first level up is going to be. He is going to get HP, and that's it. That sucks. Uh, probably not going to use Will in this playthrough. <laughs> You know, I was, I was kind of telling myself beforehand that if Will managed to uh, get a good level up, a good first level up, I would consider using him for the uh, second half of the playthrough, but uh, maybe I won't after that performance. I don't know, I'm, I'm personally not feeling that confident with him right now. Eh, we'll see though, there's still plenty of chapters to go. 
As far as this right here, um, we need to talk to Dorcas next, so we're going to talk to him. You, tell me, are you Dorcas? How did you know my name? Natalie told me. What are you doing with these rogues? I need money. That may be, but joining up with mercenaries? It's the only way to earn gold in these parts. I'll do anything, even this. For gold, anything? Would you hurt your wife? Natalie is here. We're protecting her within this fortress. What? Natalie's... She's here? She was so worried that she came looking for you. Think, Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? You're right. Well? I understand. I can't do this. I'm done with these bandits here and now. Really? Yes. And I would repay you for the kindness towards Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. Ah, oh, well isn't that nice? We got him on our side now. But now we have to take care of some of these other goons that have uh, appeared here on the field of battle. Now, Dorcas is a fighter. Fighters are known for having a lot of strength and a lot of HP, but that's about it, really. Uh, so, you know, not going to really expect too much fantastic out of Dorcas. He has a decent skill growth, which I guess is good considering he is a fighter and they wield axes, but, um, you know, there, there are other units that I think are maybe better than Dorcas, in my own honest opinion. I wouldn't say he's really that spectacular, but, you know, if, if you need an axe user, especially in Lens playthrough, um, you're kind of, uh, you're kind of stuck with him, because I think he's the only, technically he's the only axe user you get, technically. I'll get into that technicality later, but, um, we're going to go ahead and just attack. Uh, Dorcas does have a hand axe, which is a uh, ranged axe he can use. I'm trying to make sure this guy can't get to this forest over here, but I may not be able to control that. Okay, good. He got that hit in. That's nice. Let's see if uh, Florina can actually finish this off. It is an axe user, but we do have the luxury of having a slim lance with us. The problem is, if uh, Florina misses either of these two attacks, uh, she might uh, end up dying. So this is going to be a bit of a risk, so let's see if we can actually get it done here. Whoa! Dodges the 69% and gets both hits. That is fantastic, Florina. Good job. And gets a level up. Uh, that's pretty much what you can expect from Florina. So, I'm not too disappointed with that. Gets a Iron Axe as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Good job, Florina. I think you did good with that. You know, a little bit of strength would have been nice. Maybe some defense, but, uh, you know, you can only do so much, so I can't complain too much. Uh, so, let's actually worry about this congested area right here now. So, let's use the sword. Make ourselves a little path so we can destroy some more units. Both Kent and Sane going to be uh, working their magic. Pretty mediocre level from Kent right there, unfortunately. And Sane, I think Sane just got his most recent level up, so we'll probably see his next level up a little bit later. But thankfully, I think our defenses are going to be good enough to the point where, um... Even if we do get uh, hit pretty hard by these guys, we should still be able to clean up a lot of these forces here. Without uh, getting too close to death. Plus, we're not doubling, so we can again kind of focus on that congested area a little more. Uh, so here's the dilemma now. Oh wait, first. What are you waiting for? She's just a child. A girl. Grr, get more men up here now. That's right, we're going to have some reinforcements to worry about. Uh, they'll appear at the beginning of every turn, I believe. So what we need to do is kind of focus on getting these uh, forces cleaned up. Thankfully for Florina, uh, there are sword users that will come from this square right here every turn. So one thing you can do is kind of just to get Florina prepared, uh, you could just kind of send her up here and just kind of focus on taking out these uh, Myrmidons. Uh, but first, though, I'm going to give her... or get, have her give to Dorcas the Iron Axe. 
I'm also going to... I don't think she's going to be able to double with the Slim Lance. Well, maybe she will. I, I don't know. It's a hard call here. I should have probably looked at the stats of the uh, the mercenary before I did this, but whatever. I'll just uh, put the Iron Lance in front, move her here to this forest so they can't use it. Flying units do not get the advantage of the uh, terrain squares, but you should still use them just so your opponents don't get them. And then I guess I'll start moving uh, Dorcas down here as well. Uh, just to be a little efficient with this, we'll go ahead and give him the Hand Axe still. And I'll have Lin behind him. As far as this is concerned, I wish I could trade off here. But there's not much I can do about it, so I'll just go ahead and do this. I'm really, really disappointed that Kent uh, got a really bad level up there. Like I said before, I love both Kent and Sane. I love them both. They are just great characters, great social knights. Definitely my favorite social knights in the entire Fire Emblem series. I just love their personalities, and they just mix so well together, so I definitely love both of them. So I like to see them both succeed, but if I can only use one, that's the way it is. Uh, so as far as these guys are concerned, um, we still have this wall here that they're going to be breaking down every turn. Um... How much HP does it have? I want to say I had about 50 or so. Doing about 8 damage to it. Because here's the thing. If uh, this guy starts attacking the wall, he's going to be doing more damage to it than the um, Myrmidon, or the Mercenary. So I think I should probably aim for this guy first. The thing is, though, it's going to take a few turns for me to get him. But that should still be fine, so I'll just go ahead and work on this guy then. Worst comes to worst, I'll just bring up my Cavaliers and we can take care of them as well. <clears throat> okay, good that Kent dodged that. Working towards his next level up now. Okay, and see, this is good, because with an Iron Lance, Florina is essentially going to be two-shotting these guys, and she's not going to be taking too much damage from them either, so... I feel pretty okay with her being up there. Okay, this guy's still going to be going for Kent's. Again, really, really wish I could double attack now, but since I can't, it is what it is. Maybe I'll get a speed level up with these two guys next. We can only hope. We'll have to just wait and see, though. Okay, Dorcas getting a nice shot in there. Okay, so I'm going to take another shot with Will. <clears throat> that guy will be gone next turn, and I think we've still got, still got a ways before this wall gets broken down. Uh, Lorena, I'm gonna go ahead and just focus on... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna attack this guy. Just so I can kill them both and start working on those other guys in the following turn. Actually, it probably didn't matter who I used right there. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, we'll keep moving. Not a big deal. Meanwhile, Dorcas, you go ahead and slaughter this archer. Dorcas might get one level up in this playthrough, but we'll see. So I'll probably just opt to use my uh, Cavalier units later. Because they have Lances, and Lances are a perfectly good enough counter for uh, other Lance users. Uh, let's see. Again, I really wish you could finish him off. Sane can finish his guy off, no problem. Let's see if we get, uh, no, not quite a level up, but we will get one next time. Uh, so I am curious, if I use Lance, okay, I can't do it with Lances either, unfortunately, so. Um, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm also getting kind of worried about HP as well. Thankfully, they're dodging enough. But again, if something bad were to happen, uh, it would be very unfortunate. Let's just say that. He is doing a really good job of dodging, though. I have to give him credit for that. 
He's actually probably going to get his next uh, level up here in a second. And see, even though Florina's getting uh, pretty damaged right here, we do have Vulneraries, so... And they're only doing two damage per turn as well, so I'm not really too worried about her. Plus, Florina should be getting her next level up soon as well. Maybe next turn. Yeah, I think that wall is just going to be just fine. Once they break it down, he's going to be looking pretty close to death anyway. Okay, well... Oh, okay, can't actually attack twice right there. He didn't get a speed level up, but uh, he might right now. Well, he gets HP, skill, speed, and resistance. Not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, and they're... Oh, okay, well this guy is just definitely dead. Yeah, Lynn has some of the coolest criticals in the game, I gotta admit. Uh, she is one flashy unit destroyer, that's for sure. <laughs> gotta love to see that. Okay, so Will, you're gonna finish off this guy now. Took you long enough. And let's see, this guy's been doing 8 damage per turn. Um... So it'll have 10, all attack, it'll have 2, all attack. Yeah, this guy's not going to get through. I might still leave one of my knights up there, just so they can maybe finish it off, but, uh... Okay, Sang can double now, too, so I think I'll just do that with Kent. I'll leave Kent up here, since he is kind of wounded right now anyway. So, yeah. Sang I'm not as worried about. Especially with that... S well, they both have 6 defense, but... Regardless, not worried. That's the point. <laughs> okay, Sane. Verify why I want to use you. Verify. Well, it's speed, I guess. It's, it's a, it's an important stat. <laughs> I can't complain too much. Okay, yeah, see, I can't uh, get a double attack in with the Slim Lance right now, so we'll just keep on using the Iron Lance and maybe hope for a critical on one of the last turns. Not too big of a deal. Plus, the enemy is going to have their last turn as well. Um, so, Kent, I'm going to send you back up this way so you can help deal with that threat. And... We also have the matter of Karjiga here. Has a Steel Axe, cannot move, so we can just do what we can to just pick it, pick off a little bit of damage here. Give him a little extra experience. Probably not going to get a level up until next chapter, but that is absolutely fine. And I'll just wait till the last turn to get the uh, kill on the boss. I don't think the chapter, like, automatically ends once you kill the boss. I think you still wait out the enemy turn, but, uh, just to be safe, I'll just do it on the last turn. I think me. Oh, wow, that's actually a pretty... Well, again, I think that's the same level we got before, so... <laughs> Not bad, but again, strength would be nice. Uh, getting back to Sane. Yep, double attack. Not too worried about him. Man, this is going to be another uh, long late 20s video. <laughs> Once the maps get longer and, like, battles will take more than, like, one video to get through, I'll definitely try to make the videos a bit smaller. But, again, because it, it is definitely nice to try to get, like, one battle done per video, admittedly. So I'm going to try to aim for that as much as possible. Okay. Critical would have been nice, Will. Okay, you know what? I'll consider using Will if he gets a critical his next turn. I'll, I'll consider it. I will definitely consider it. Although, hmm. Hold on. Because the thing is, I may not be able to kill this guy if, uh... <laughs> Let's hope he gets that critical then, I guess. Let's hope he goes for it. Um, okay, I haven't moved Florina yet. I haven't moved these guys either. Okay. Go ahead, do another hand axe throw. You, go ahead and keep attacking this stupid sword user. 
I think Florina will just be just fine for the rest of the map, so I'm not too worried about her. Do get rid of you. Yeah, she'll survive with at the very lowest one HP, so Florina will be just fine. Insane, you'll be just fine as well. Not that I had any doubt in you not being fine. So yeah, on second thought, maybe I should have killed this guy first, just so uh, the brigand would have done more damage and I can actually get to him. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish these guys up. Not bad. You go ahead and get the attack in. This is fine. Okay, Will, if you get this critical, if you get this critical, man, I'll consider using you. Eh. Sorry, guys, not gonna use Will. <laughs> nah, I, I, you know, again, it's still, it's still too early. I can't make a call like that just yet, anyway. Uh, one last hand axe. What if, what if Dorcas got the critical there? <laughs> that would have been something. And we'll just use the Monocati to finish this up. No critical, but we already saw it. Arg! This isn't not me! Sorry, Karjiga. Now maybe you should change your name <laughs> in your second life. Oh wow, that's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good level up. Uh, strength, skill, speed. Get some luck on top of that. Can't really complain about that. But unfortunately, we cannot kill that uh, last mercenary over there. Florina will wipe up this one, but as far as the other one, gonna need to leave that one alone, unfortunately. Curses! They're not human! Listen up, rogues! Retreat! Pull back! The enemies fled. Slim, we've won! Dorcas! I'm so sorry, Natalie. All's well that ends well, right, Natalie? Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Hmm? Why can't we just say our farewells today? Well, I... I spoke with Slim. I... I've been invited to join your group. But we're going to Lycia. I have to go somewhere to earn money. If you think I'll be of use, I'd like to fight for you. You help my wife. I owe you. Dorcas. Please, Lynn, we're both in agreement in this. Watch over my husband. Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue taking turns keeping watch. Please rest easily. Is that alright? Are you sure? Sane? Oh, er, yes, of course. Let me warn you, if bandits sneak up on you, they'll cut you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What, do you doubt my bravery? Am I not a knight? There's no need to worry. Right, Kent? If there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, good night then. See you tomorrow, Slim. Let's go. Ha! No one ever trusts me. I wonder why, Sane. I wonder why. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.